Sophie and the third graders kick off our highlights this week. First half down 2 0. Sophie takes it herself, pulls up, and buries the jumper. It was tied 2 to 2 at halftime. Third quarter, Veronica gets the steal, and she'll take it all the way down the court herself. She shoots, she scores. Believe it or not, that was the third grade's first lead all season. They held on to that lead until about a minute left in the game. The other team just gets their shot to rim in. Oh, the heartache. Game tied. After a scoreless overtime, it became sudden death. And this is how the game ended. I think this was practically the best game they've ever played because they showed actual teamwork, especially in their defense. And the movement of the ball was was better than it ever has been. If we didn't have those uh, bad passes, we would have definitely won. And yeah, it, it's kind of heartbreaker, but. Okay. Can't always win in basketball, right? Yeah. The Chef making an appearance at the 8th grade's final regular season game. First half, Jocelyn on the fast break. Perfect pass to Lily. She banks it in. She celebrates because that was her first basket since game one. The 8th grade played with lead all night long. Second half, Sabrina picks off a pass and then starts the fast break to Amanda to Jocelyn. She takes it in for the layup. Game high, 7 points for Jocelyn. Fourth quarter, Jocelyn again with a nifty pass right to Pamela for her only bucket of the game. The eighth grade girls complete an undefeated regular season and win 22 3. I haven't made a shot like since the first game. And then I was kind of surprised that I made a shot this time. Yes. So what happened on that play? This one? That you made the shot. Um, I don't know, I was like, wait, what I don't even I don't remember what happened at that time. I was like, I made a shot, I can't believe that. I'm like, yes! Did you, uh, when you shot it, did you think you were going to make it? No. To the Diamond, where last Tuesday, the 5th grade trails 7 0 heading into their half of the 5th, but they put up a crooked number. Ricardo beats out this infield base hit. All chaos ensues. A run comes in to score, and the 5th grade gets their first run of the game. Later on in the inning, Barrett just slaps at it, very Ichiro like. Another run comes in to score. A total of 5 runs score in the inning, but the 5th grade still loses 10 5. Then on Thursday, Allen pops one up in the infield, but with one out, the runners take off instead of tagging up. They would get doubled off, and the rally ended there. Defensively, they were not at their best. A plethora of errors, to say the least. They looked very confused and shaky. Their gloves just were not there. Bottom five, Jason L would collect his first base hit. They load the bases with no outs, but could not get a run home. The fifth grade loses 13-1. Now onto the 5th grade girls as Kayla was getting her hair done to prep for the game. Another strong outing by the St. Mary's rookie. She knocks down the jumper. Game high 12 points for KS. Second quarter, Kayla dishes it forward on the fast break to Michaela for the layup. And then Becky staying with it down low gets the offensive rebound. On her second attempt, she gets it to go. 5th grade up 18-2 at halftime. Third quarter, some nice half court work. Tic-tac-toe passing Kayla to Michaela to Lily with a nice bank shot. That was such a good play, they decided to do it all over again later on. Lily again, her first year of basketball with a career high 10 points. Nice job with the fifth graders as they win big 26 to 4. So how happy are you that you know your team is uh, doing really well? I feel great. Why is that? Why are you guys doing because, so well? I don't know. Do you feel this is more of like a team effort now in the last few games than it was earlier in the season? Yes. Why is that? Because most of the girls we've been able, um, they've, I think they feel more confident because they've been shooting a lot and making their shots. How much more fun is it when everyone is uh, contributing? It's a lot yeah, of fun. It's very a lot of fun. Look <laughs> <laughs> at you. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like fun. It's like we're actually. Ow! You stop kicking me. It's like a lot of fun with our teammates. Like. We're actually becoming friends now, laughing a lot. Sixth graders trying to snap out of their two-game losing streak. Their shooting would not help them. In the first half, it seemed like they couldn't throw a ball into the ocean. Chance after chance after chance, but for whatever reason, they could not get the ball in the basket. The other team had the same struggles, but managed to push one through. The sixth graders don't guard everyone on the out-of-bounds play. The other team hits the jumper 4-0 at halftime. 
Second half, more of the same. The sixth graders, golden opportunities right by the hoop, and they could not convert. After a while, you got the feeling that this just wasn't their day. Fourth quarter, the lid finally came off the basket when Kayla hit a free throw. That made it 4-1. to one. The girls were still very much in this game. But after that, the shooting continued to suffer. The sixth grade was held without a field goal the entire game. And when that happens, you have no margin of error on defense. The other team barely took any shots in the second half, but they made more than the sixth graders. And that's what counted. The putback here seals it. Don't adjust your computer screen. The final score was 7-1. to one. We weren't taking good shots, and we weren't really um, yeah, we're taking good shots. What can we do to fix that, do you think? Calm down and not play nervous, or... I don't know what was going on with them. They're like, they were just, like, rushing every shot, not getting good shot attempts up. Like, they sh they've shown that they can make shots in practice, but here, it seems like it's different here. Like, they go into a different mindset where everything we taught them is um, somewhere else, and... They, I guess they just have to get to play more, and so they're used to the in-game situation where they can play calm and make good choices. The sixth graders were back to work Sunday. No time to think about their loss Saturday. Brandon Koo and Tiffy with their new haircut trying to bring the sixth grade some luck. They worked early on, first minute of the game. Jamie comes up with the steal, heads up past to Fiona, who makes the layup. A collective sigh of relief for the sixth graders. However, their shooting woes did continue as it was only 2 to nothing at halftime. Third quarter, they literally exploded. Starting with this off the out-of-bounds play, Rebecca with a jumper, splash. That was Becca's first ever made shot. Edwina made her return to the lineup and she dribbled her way to an open look and she banks it in. And then late in the third, Rebecca running the break, great pass to Kelly. She banks in the shot. A six-point third quarter made it 8 nothing. Leading 8-1 midway through the fourth, Victoria got in on the action. Her bank shot just manages to fall in. St. Mary's up 10-1 with four minutes to go. Game over? No. The other team went on a huge run, fueled by number three. Sixth graders stop playing defense as number three gets all the way to the rack, lead down to three. Then the girls can't get a rebound, setting up this jumper. An 8-0 run by the other team. We have ourselves a one-point ball game. Less than a minute to go, number three fumbles away the ball. Leslie's right there to pick it up. She takes it in for the layup. Huge shot by Leslie. Sixth grade back of three. They would then commit a foul and send the other team to the free throw line. After making the first one, the girl hits the second one back to a one-point game. Fifteen seconds left on the clock. The girls needed to ice the game. Here's how it ended. Great girls finally snapped their losing streak, a much needed victory. They win it 12 to 11. I think we, um, our confidence level is up and we need to keep it going up because we have a last game and we want to go into the playoffs. It was really good. I thought it wouldn't make it because it didn't hit the backboard either. But you switched it, I think. Yeah, I squished it, but I didn't think it would make it. So what was going through your head like right after you made it? Like, How did you feel? I was really proud, but then I had to keep on focusing. How relieved are you? Who are you asking? You. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. Um, I'm still shaking a little. A one-point win is scary. Two! That's one. Wow. One. Kelly. one point. Obviously, oh, Kelly wasn't paying attention to score. You know, you're hurting me. I won! Straight. Okay. Next question, Brian. So after uh, yesterday, how proud are you that the girls turned around today and played probably one of their best games of the year? I'm pretty proud because it shows they listen. They really listen. And what we talked about, what did we talk about, girls? What kind of shots did you take today? What kind of choices? Angle. No, 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 no. What kind of shot choices? Good. Good, Good shot choices. Good shot choices. Okay, and it showed. We did what you said. They, they did. Right. Yeah, we did what you said. You should be Leslie, 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 Leslie,
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't do it. Well, are we gonna have like two oh, yeah. You all had it out. out right? You're all in and out. Okay, everyone jump for joy. <laughs> Was that good enough? Okay. Yeah. You can help me now. <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I got it. And a big thank you to everybody who came out to the picnic on Saturday in San Bruno, especially all of you guys who came in the eighth grade class. Congratulations to Michael, the winner of Survivor 4. Two, zero, one, two. Be sure to also check the blog later this week, another scintillating edition of Shem's Corner.